Um, I just want to get a clarification before I go on that I'm not talking okay. to myself. I'm, I'm not talking to myself. Thing. Thank Thank God for that. Okay, so today uh, we're going for a little bit of a an early, early, an early flight. Um, um, unfortunately, yesterday um, I tried to post up a, uh, tried to, you know, fly around Russia there for a bit and uh, unfortunately because I was silly enough to put in music uh, they didn't they they, they didn't like that so uh, we are going to have we'll, we'll jump in the Cessna we're gonna have um, not a repeat but we're gonna be doing something similar um, yesterday uh, we went to up in here and we had a little look at uh, what the Russians uh, did um, with a testing site and whatnot, but because I was silly enough to put music in the background, uh, that is uh, now stricken from the record, and uh, I think it's something to do with the the fact that I was uh, no. <laughs> speaking the truth. Um, so I guess in the the sake of fairness, uh, we will have to make sure that uh, we, we, we put as much, we put attention on the Russians yesterday, so we're gonna put attention on the Americans today, and we are gonna visit that very much favorite of a lot of people's um, uh, conspiracy um, thing, I don't know what you would call it. Um, we are gonna be looking at harp. Now, the issue is, it is in, um, it is in. Let me just change the time to be like UT. Oh, I guess it's UTC, so it has to be. No, I want, I want daytime. I want to see where the fuck I am. Never mind. Okay, um, we're gonna. It's actually. I should have probably found where the hell this place is first before we uh, we took off. I don't think there's an airfield nearby. Uh, no, there is. There is. That looks like it could be an airfield, um, but we'll um, Copperville. I don't know what that is. Um, what's this? White horse. Shit! I should have. I should have probably found out these places uh, before jumping in. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna type an airport. It's gonna bring me to like Anchorage or something. Um, oh, oh, there we are. Okay, there's McCarthy Airport. Okay, that's um, McCarthy. Uh, if I just type that in, will it come up, or is it gonna come up with something? Uh, fuck. Let me. Or Greek Airport. Creek Airport, shit. Uh, <laughs> okay, this wasn't this wasn't planned out properly, and now I've lost where Harp is. So apologies for that. Um, this is going fantastic. Why is it in French? What the fuck? Airport Google. What's the code? Come on, give me the. Oh, there we are. We got the I. There we go. We got ourselves a a little destination here. Yes, we weren't too far off, I don't think. Um, so we will be flying uh, up north, and uh, so <laughs> so yeah, we are going to be going to here, established in nineteen ninety three, um, and so we are going to look for this on the uh, harp facility so we are down let me see the town okay so we are down here is there one further up north I think so um, Forgive, forgive me. 
for uh, for being uh, not the most prepared. Um, but we'll find it. I feel like. Oh, yeah. These are these are towns nearby. So, I say the only way you can really get around around these places is by plane. So, yeah. Okay. So, Jacobus, <laughs> and then this place here is Duffy's Tavern. Yeah, is it, they, to get you get to get pissed, you have to go to. Okay, so we're in around this area, so I'm sure we'll be able to find by 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 things. So we're, we'll we'll, we'll uh, take off from from. No, are they spelling it differently? It looks like they're spelling it differently. No, no, no. Wait, yeah. Okay, that's perfect. I know where that is. Cool. Um. Though on Google Maps it doesn't really look like it's much of an airport, but I'm sure uh, it's important. Um, so we're oh no there aerodrome Kukana. Okay, cool. Oh. So we're gonna take there, and we are going to be flying up north. And I think the way this is, there should be a road. So we're gonna follow this road, and then we should get to the harp station, which is the official harp station. So that shouldn't be an issue. Um, we'll do a full. Um, kind of takeoff procedure, all that jazz, um, and then uh, we might go up more north, which is allegedly where the real harp is, somewhere along this area. Though, as you can see, it's a couple thousand miles. And then, if we're lucky, we might go down the Aleutians here <clears throat> and talk about. Um, the what the uh, the Americans did with the uh, the Aleutian people um, and the uh, on these places here like uh, Rat Island and stuff like that. We'll see if we can find some uh, some domes, uh, some nuclear domes where they uh, bombed and did under underground uh, nuclear testing. But we'll just have a look to see what Harp looks like uh, from the sky. Um, and we'll have we'll have a bit of fun doing that. So uh, I won't make the mistake uh, this time of playing uh, copyright music. Um, I have royalty free music, but I have a feeling that that might set it off as well because of the recording. But hey, you know what? They they can try and <laughs> censor me all you like, but or what? So yeah. Um. A little bit of background on HARP. Uh, it stands for the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Project, uh, and it is to do with the ionosphere. Uh, and it was funded by the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and the University of Alaska, uh, as well as DARPA. Um, and now it's you know now it's you know it's fine. Uh, it's it's publicly run. And it's been a, tar a target of conspiracy theorists who claim it's capable is capable of weaponizing the weather. Um, so we'll have a we'll have a little look. Um, got the good call sign on. Uh, we'll, we'll change the weather so it's daytime, so we can we can we can enjoy the uh, the yeah we'll do our early morning, but we'll keep the weather the same way. And we're in a classic little Cessna here, so it should be fun to get. It should be easy to get this thing uh, going. Um, I'm looking around, so the fuel shut off. Uh, how's the lads? Yeah, they're looking well. Is he gonna walk into my plane? Careful now. You're gonna bang your head. Jesus. Um. All right, here we go. Okay, so mixture. Full. Uh, uh, fuel. Did I I'll close that? I opened it. Um, sure, I'm gonna forget some kind of procedure or something like that. But I, 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 I I'm pretty confident. Um, flaps cool. Parking brake on. Uh, I guess we just what was it? Just prime the engine and then. Oh no, we turn on the those switches. Prime the engine. <laughs> And then we give it a little start. I hold it down. Oh, 12% rev. Okay. That should be good. 
Uh, oil pressure. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Um, do I need a pushback or will I be grand? I think it will be grand. Just to fly out there. Um, uh, last time I had the map open, it like uh, messed up the whole thing. Um, so hopefully they give me a nice little quick little means of uh, uh, getting out of here. Um, do I want to announce the taxi or what? Papa Alpha Golf Kilo Traffic Desnut Nine or One One is taxi to runway three three right. Three three. Okay, and runway three three right is uh oh, you sent me down the fucking other end you see when i was in russia the other day they were fucking kind enough i just had to get up and fly so right we're just we're just uh you know f the uh the safety standards the faa can can lick my balls i'm just gonna chop this dude in half rest in peace sorry sorry apologies to the uh the ground the ground crew uh for that and then we go down this road I'm pretty sure blue lights is like only for vehicles or something like that. Blue lights on the runway, yeah. Love the color of it, uh. Ba da ba 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 da 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 Turn. Eh. Okay. So we're speeding. We're speeding. And we're gonna hold short hair, but you know what? Eh. Okay. Never mind. That's a that's a violation there. I'm gonna get uh, reprimanded. I'm gonna be very angry. Um. But you know what? I ain't got time for this. Okay. I'm here to crack open a case. Crack this wide open. Yesterday we were flying in the uh, Icon 5, and this is a, I mean, it's a much more classic plane. It's, it's you know, everybody loves a, loves a Cessna. So it's a find all, it's a find all plane. Though the, uh, the Icon is, is, you just flip a switch and he turns on. Um, let's get this uh, a little bit straighter. 70 knots, 80 knots, let's uh, lift her up. There we go. Up we go. That's good, a nice better view. There we go. Cool. So we are going to we are heading Oh shit, I don't even know what degrees <laughs> it is. Okay, so I think if we just head up this way, we should be good. Um so there should be a mountain to behind us. Yeah, there we are, there's a big mountain. And uh yeah, no, it's just a case of uh Continuing this way uh, for a certain amount of time, uh, we follow this river. Yeah, so the river is a good means of a way of keeping track of where we have to go. So we are here, and Harp is there. So we just follow the river. So it's you know it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Um, uh, I have live um, weather on. Actually, I completely missed the timing to play the music. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> so, you know, it's an hour. Now is better than never, I guess. There we go. Like Alaska would be already be the only state in America that I would like like to live in. Um, but even at that, I would, you know, I I can't deal with. Um, being self-sufficient and paying like a couple, you know, stakes. You see stakes in places in Canada in rural, really 
you know, remote parts of Canada and thing, and it's like $90. That's a very busy road. Or relatively. Oh. We'll get rid of those flaps there. We're, we're up nice and high. And there's no ATC given out to me, so I'm happy with that. Slow down a little. So that's uh, Jacobus. Jack Jacobus. Um. So it's set up. Uh, Harp is set up by BAE Systems, uh, which is a weapons manufacturer, as as well as other things, uh, artillery. Uh, it employs about thirty thousand people. And it was set up in 1999. Um, I guess they're the people who are running it now. Um, yeah. So I mean, people say no. Oh, it's uh, it's just to moderate the uh, the you know the weather. It's just a, it's just to check to see what's up with the weather. You know, it it was it was uh, founded by DARPA, uh, ran by the Air Force, and uh, it's currently you know, uh, being used by, uh, well, actually, it's being used by the university or whatever, but, um, you know, I think this is the, the small fry, um, but it's just my opinion. I mean, it's in a remote enough place anyway, so that's, uh, that's fine. Some weird, uh, is that, like, loading in a thing, or I think it might be, um, some kind of weird satellite um, what do you call it a kind of matching okay so this town up ahead is uh, oh this is the uh, this kind of hmm So I guess this is Oh, this place. So we've we've gone up here and we are now around here or it could be here. That. It's whatever. It's whatever is here. It must be. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a town in the middle of nowhere. Look at it. It's a very busy, a very busy, lively town. For a town in the middle of nowhere. Um, <laughs> ah, actually, no. I found where it is. Yeah, we're a little bit further uh, north than that. There's the airfield, so that's the uh that there's what we're looking at. There's the airfield. So uh very remote areas and you you kinda you don't need a car, you need one of these to get around uh plane. And uh when we get to this turn I think we should be on the uh it's the right path. Now I honestly don't know much about Harp. I just I just think it, you know it's only fair that we went and we started looking at the uh, the Russians the other day. We might as well just you know compare you know, remote areas um, and, uh, and such. Four thousand feet. I love. It, I have to say the Cessna. It just it just sticks. It just it's a very it's a very little it's a very sweet little plane. I say down there. That's a that's probably an airfield down there as well. But they didn't. They didn't. They didn't add it in. We're going a little off course because he's a. 
town down there? Yeah, there it is. Oh, we don't even have our nav lights on. Jesus. Whew. Check to make sure the uh, the FAA is not on my uh, my tail. No, we're good. Actually, yeah, well, we're going by, we might as well have a look at the uh, information about these towns. Um, and these are, yeah, very similar to uh, the Russian towns, but they have a little bit more information about them, I guess. Um, so, Gaktona, Alaska, has a population of 280 up from 200, sorry, 218 up from 215 in 10 years. So, in 2002, in, sorry, in 2000. They had a census of, and they had 215 people, and then in 2010 they had 218 people, so, I mean, it's a growing population, but uh, maybe not booming. See, this is the danger when I'm outside, when I'm outside the, uh, the cockpit, knowing which way you have to steer. Um... Now, I will probably be using slow mode to get, because like, you know, the, the, the quote unquote real harp is very, 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 very far away. Gonna keep on track on how far are we where are we going? So if there's a big there's a big meander going off in another direction. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So we're not too far off. Oh, actually. Actually. That's it there. This here. So we'll, we're gonna lower our speed and start descending. I want to descend at a very nice, like, steady pace. Um, vertical speed is picking up. So, uh, facts about it. Um, it directs a 6.5, I guess that's megawatt signal. A uh, uh, high band frequency into the ionosphere. The signal may be pulsed or continuous. The effects of the transmission and recorded period can examine using the isolate. It's pretty gay when you actually like when they give the official story. It's really, really just like ugh, ugh, ugh. Um, Okay, okay, so the, the conspiracy side of things, um, committee on, uh, so someone published a book, Michael Chusov, who I'm sure, oh, oh, wow, they turned them all into houses, is it? 
so if I recall, the, yeah, the, there's. <laughs> Yes. Spooky Halloween time. So you can see the little antennas there. Oh no, I'm losing control. They've weaponized it. <gasps> and that's the main building there, so... The huge thing. It's, a, it's a much smaller than you think, you know? It's really just like the one array of, of things. And then that's the, the research building or whatever. Let me see if we can. Is there a place to land? I say we can land on her, I guess. Oh, okay. Look <laughs> what's going on here with the with the rivers. <laughs> it did this it did this uh, beside the uh, the submarine pens in um in Russia, where it caused it. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm not gonna make anyone happy. Am I? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that Harf is a weapon manufacturer, but I'm also, you know, clearly water is not, you know, finding its level here. So flat earther is debunked. Uh, <laughs> let's put the flaps up. And It's quite nestled away, though, isn't it? Um, but yeah, no. Uh, this is uh, this is apparently what's gotten people very upset over the last. 20 or so years, so it's already, it's a relatively uh, new, you know, new bit of lore. Let's see if I can land in the middle there. From the looks of it. Uh oh. Probably should have landed the other way. It's a little bit more of a, less of a square, more of a rectangle, but let's see if we can do this. Full flaps. Full flaps. Break. Break. Ew. Oh, it's, it's actually kind of good that all the houses actually have satellite dishes on them. <laughs> so this is uh, this is what's caused all the fuss. A bunch of shacks with some satellite dishes on them. <laughs> Google Maps there, um, it has a... Uh... Yeah, no, actually that's pretty accurate. I guess these are the, the power stations or whatever. Um, Harp Access Road. Ooh, where does that go? Mmm. Mmm. Something up there. But, uh, yeah, so the main... The main, the main jizz is, uh, is here. This kind of big thing that powers it all, and then <laughs> that's good. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Um, so that's a that's a good picture of it. Um, so obviously we couldn't properly land here, or otherwise we would have. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, ionosphere research. Mmm. Oh. Чикая львица, ты моя царица. Сопли Мариванна меня зачаровала. He's got the spirit of the line. Um So I guess they have a lot of uh, open days and stuff. I'm oh, kind of a bit disappointed. <laughs> I mean, that's that's gold. Um 
by owner. Oh, there's no fucks in there. Um, so yeah, it's quite, like I said, it's quite, uh, was I expecting more? Probably. Uh, but like I said, this isn't the real one. The real one is apparently up over these mountains, up over those mountains, and somewhere here where all this stuff is. So, um, we'll take off, we'll have a little fly around uh, the area again, and uh, we'll just, uh, we'll, 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 we'll see if there's anything else to look at, which there isn't. Uh, <laughs> you can see these. I don't see what the I don't see what the whole problem about the whole inst installation is. It is just a load of I guess you know e economy uh, houses uh, all lined up <laughs> with satellite. They all come with their own satellite radio. I don't know why people are so upset about this. Um, it's just simple, you know, really simple houses with uh, let's see, forty. Will I get enough speed? No, up, 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 there we go. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle this, uh, this, this, uh, royalty field music and hopefully it'll give us some, uh, some fun. So this is the main, that's that main building there. Um, it's, that's so strange that, like, normally a lot of the time it turns, you know, big big industrial buildings into into um big industrial buildings into you know m massive warehouse apartments but apparently that it, it did the opposite like and there's a house in the middle of the road which you know I do believe, isn't it up over? Ah, it's that, it's this over here. So that's that over there, and then to the north, which be over this way, is uh, something else. <laughs> I was just thinking it'd be actually quite funny if they had, if there's a rumor that goes around that they put Bigfoot in the game. You know, they could. Oh, that'd be. That would be a. Uh, like what happened with uh, San Andreas, that would be a uh, that would be a sight to see. But somewhere in the Pacific Northwest, there is there is a sprite or or, or a little thing of a Sasquatch. That yeah. Swear to God, if my video gets blocked for the most generic fucking music in the world, I am going to be so pissed. Because they 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 blocked it. <laughs> they blocked it because of um, I don't know. It was like lo-fi beats or whatever. So like, the people who make it, you know, obviously get bits and soundtracks and stuff from movies and music and stuff. So I don't know. It's okay for another person to live stream I guess I guess you know they had permission from the artist so I didn't but I can't get permission from fucking Tavioski Tavoski because he's fucking dead and he's Russian he can't understand me um well I don't know I don't know if he speaks English um so I'm just gonna pause for a second in the air and I think we can teleport I just need to find the code of an airport near nearby 
Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll look up there. Uh... Okay, so... Low frequency... Jesse Ventura talked about it. Oh, man. It's linked to everything. Um, let me... I'll type in real hard. <laughs> But I have a feeling it, it's it's just gonna be it, it's just here. Possible harp locations from around the world. Mm. <sighs> Shoot behind harp. Oh, why? Why do? You, why? Why can't you let just be fun? that were present in the ground. We might get a sound in water. Clear cut. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'll just I'll just go up somewhere here. Um like I said, it's somewhere here. <laughs> See the way it's all it's got a weird uh thing. Because obviously so okay, so this town here. Ooh. Uh let's find its little code. P A Q T P A Q T. Ooh, fly that fly. Um Go! Oh, it's nighttime. Or are we on the edge of the world? Oh shit. Uh oh. Didn't like that. Why is it in the. Why are we in the water? Am I dead now? Or what? Oh, there we are. Okay. Oh, you know what it is? This is a much higher altitude, I guess. So it's, it's messing up. Am I free or what's happening here? Uh, did I break the game? Maybe, maybe they know. <laughs> <laughs> Options. Am I like in the ground or some shit? Oh, let me. <laughs> the music's not helping. Okay. I don't like this airplane. Nope. No, stop. No, I don't. Wow. Uh, uh. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I think this music is gonna go well with this plane, because <laughs> I am terrible at playing. <laughs> this plane. Oh, look at the weather. Does that not give you a hint of what's happening? <laughs> I'm so bad. This this little plane, these little stubby wings. I I can't.
Oh, Jesus! <laughs> no, 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 Fuck. How do I unroll this or what? If I... Son of a bitch. Am I the right way up? Oh, thank God. Okay. I can do. I can deal with this plane, but I'm nowhere near a runway, so you know what? Once again, I think the music is dictating how I should act. <laughs> there we go. This is the plane from the picture of the airport, so... Wait, why is it... Nope. A stall warning pretty quick. Stop it! No, I'm not trying to sing. No! I'm not trying to. Stop it! Eh. What's my altitude? Jesus, come on. Up! Up! Jesus. She's a heifer. She's a heifer, alright. So, oh, we're very far away from where we were. Okay, so. Somewhere south there. This is supposed to be real. Real. This is. Now, this is real Harp County. Okay. I think I might jump back in the Cessna, but I. I, I... Look at that. It's like a lizard. Oh! <laughs> Do I, can I bring up my gears or no? no? Oh, this is actually the same plane that was. Uh... Get rid of that. Okay. So. Like, it is kind of annoying that, like, YouTube searches and, uh, the algorithms in general, when you type in these things, it's immediately, you know, points you to Snopes, you know? I'm like, I don't care. Like, look at this. You tell me they're not trying to hide something with, with topography like this. <laughs> look at this. What's going on there? <laughs> I have to say the uh, they updated the game and they uh, one of the updates said uh, <laughs> removed a big hole, m removed massive hole or uh, <laughs> in Brazil. <laughs> um, we're heading in the right direction, I guess. But you know, I guess this is going to be an endless, an endless sea of like lakes and stuff. Uh, where's that nice map? So we're here. We're heading south. Down this this area here. And it's all, you know, it's, it's all like snake skin, you know? It's all like a snake. Like, imagine trying to navigate this. Look at this. Look at this. Like, how can you do that? You can't. This is me. This is me right here. You got a little town. You got a little Alaska commercial. Grocery school, got a school and a library, got a hotel, got some oil, post post service. Is there any more? Like, do they have any more pictures of this town or what? This whole area is the is the town. <laughs> Like a big radio tower somewhere. 
Jesus, like, is it, like, it is like the edge of the fucking world up here. Like, this is... Like, who the f like... Like, imagine giving someone directions, or like, you could, uh, you can own it, they give, they give out lakes for free here, you know, it's like, it's literally, you have to own a lake, you know, you can own that lake, you can own another lake, you can own whatever lake you want. Well, that's annoying. So you change plane and they get rid of your, your call sign and stuff. Video here saying harp is real. I don't think anyone. The parallels between weather modification and the nuclear age are striking. If we can build, should we? And if it's possible, is there any way to stop it? This is the high frequency active auroral research project jointly managed by the Air Force Research Laboratory and the Office of Naval Research. Mm -hmm. Its stated purpose communications research. But many scientists worldwide, including the holder of the technology's patent, claim that this facility has another, more insidious capability. Experimental manipulation of the atmosphere to control the weather. Bernard oh. Eastland is a plasma Explain this then, try it. Fusion. Try and debunk this, huh? You watching? Huh? Huh? Just like that. Yeah, actually, how much daylight? Oh my god, they got fuck all daylight up here, do they? Jesus. Wow. A lot of vitamin, vitamin D deficiencies, probably, and, and whatnot. Actually, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna say this is gonna be just like endless lakes, and uh, you know when the 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 ice sheet melted it just left all this all this mess look at this mess it's like a, a like a construction site after you after it's hosed down and cleaned up some bits of sand and whatnot but, you know left. yeah there's not even really anything like on you like Weird with the uh, with the stuff, but yeah, I don't know if it's here or like further across. But like Jesus, this is just, so you just got this big massive mountain range, and then you got another big mountain mountain range, and then you got the sea, <laughs> and then Jesus, oh, we're gonna go into a, a spiral of death. Um, but I think. I think I'll let, I'll let the harp continue researcher for the US Atomic Energy Commission. If I get and copyright struck by fucking weather control patents. For, for this, listen to it. Eastland's specialty is Gee, why, why did you boost up the... Oh yeah, that, that was the, um, the, the part of the, the reason why it's up here is because, like, all this area is super rich oil and has a lot of potential for energy and so the idea is that you can have use um, this part of the country to kind of almost have a self-sufficient um, generation because one of the things they say oh to require to use this amount of energy you know you, you would need something you know a ridiculous amount of uh, power and that, you know, they're not going to be shifting all that much power, but the idea is that up here, they're able to use as much uh, energy as, as needed, um, just from the local resource available. Uh, but yeah, no, they said it was uh, financially bad. But I just, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of jigsaws here, you know? Obviously because no one really cares about imaging up here. You know, um, but I think we've had uh, we th we've had our fun, uh, and I think it's time to 
time to time to go down Alaska, Alaska way, uh, to to these uh, these remote the the, the Rat Islands, um, and see if we can find a an airport to have a look at you know at these. Uh, I think we're going into a death spiral. Nope. Fog. The fog is coming. Oh, this song is called Antarctica. Yes, Antarctica, where the penguins and the <laughs> the North penguins roam. Um, I feel like I should de-ice or something. Overspeed. Flight. Ooh. What's this? Engine. Alright. Uh, we'll, we'll teleport again. We'll find a nice little... Not a nice... Well, it would have to be little. We're going to have to find a place... Here or somewhere. I forget which uh, which island they used. Whoa. Okay. What? I didn't touch anything there. I don't know why it brought me across the to China. I guess maybe if I press the button. Nope. No, that's that's the game. Um, That's that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> oh wow, Antarctica! I didn't know how jazzy you were. Okay, I'm gonna just get a lot of altitude because knowing knowing the what happened last time, it kind of f me up. Let's see, PKO. Oh, at least I got some altitude, so that's good. And we'll 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 jump into a more. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this plane. Oh wow! Did I? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I don't like this plane actually. I really don't like this. Plane. I don't like it. I don't like it. There. The oh, a piper. You know, what? I'll do the, the the old school piper wherever that one is. I can't see it because I can't read. Is that it? Yes. An old school plane. There's the runway down there. What way are we facing? Okay. So we have teleported uh, quite far. And these island chains here are where a number of nuclear tests happened. Uh, I have to learn how to spell illusion. The bomb that cracked an island. Mm -hmm. 
So it's the southernmost of the Rat Islands, um, and I think we're pretty far away from it. Oh no, I think, are we on the right one? No, we're not. Okay. We can slew ourselves over down the down the chain. Which should be to the west, southwest. See if we can see the lads from Deadliest Catch down there, hey? Right, okay, cheating time, sorry. <laughs> okay, so then we have another island, another island, and very high islands, which I believe. Shit, we actually have really far to go. Um, is there a closer place? <laughs> Uh, otherwise, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be here a while. Actually, the where's my? Oh no, let me get out of slew mode. Bring up that GPS tracking. Is there? Is there? Is there anything? Okay, PK. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and that's. Is there any? closer. So the island we're going for is here. So this is the island here, which is inhab uninhabited. But it was. Um, these whole island chains being ha inhabited by uh, the Aleutians for a long time. Um, I think the nearest... Okay, maybe there's one on the other side. Jeez. Let's see. What the fuck? Okay. It's just C. That's all. Is there one on here? Nope. These are just... These are just gone. You know? Okay. So, the closest... We, we are very far away. And the closest airport is... Is this one. So, Pika. Actually, let's have a little look. Let's have a little look at the, uh, these mountains. So I think this is the great. So these would be uh, volcano, volcanic mountains, I'd imagine. Let's go to the, the other. Don't remember now. Was it PKK Paka? Was it? Was that, was it? Looks like we're in the right area. Considering all things considered. Uh, let's maybe get rid of those clouds. I know it's a very cinematic book. Having so there's the Aka. Oh, is there? 
Is that actually... Quite hard to actually. Okay, okay. We still have a number of islands to have. There's, there's none here. There's no airport or anything or runway or strip. So, look, look at the geography of the land. There's no trees. If you wanted to make anything, you have to use, um, like, whalebone. You know? There's, there's literally, literally feck all in the way of... Um, what was the other? What was the other? I know I'm cheating doing this, but Jesus Christ, I don't have like a week to fly around uh, these islands. Is it here? So our destination is there. But. Okay, PK. Large area. Um, it's got UPS. It's got everything. Look, it's got everything there. Bluebird coffee. Want to keep heading, heading west. Actually, before we do that, I think maybe having a little, having a little look around. I guess this might be the last little bit of uh, the last little outpost before um, before uh, before we hit the proper great uh, great outdoors. No trees, so and this, yeah, you know, this looks like uh, no military or is a military considering the um, these kind of like, uh, normally bunkers, aren't they? But you keep planes and stuff there ready to go, and yeah, the way this is all laid out, it's very um, military, military, militaristic. Indicative of the military camp, complete Simpson. Uh, EPS. That. Mm -hmm. it, for in shuffle, does that just mean it's just going to be like the same songs over and over again, or what? What's going on here? Yeah, no, it's the same fucking songs over and over again. What's going on? 
What's going on? Oh, I need to have engine for power. <laughs> A hundred and one classical crates. Now, <laughs> in this unique opportunity to own some of history's most famous composers. That's what would happen. Yeah. Okay, so I think we've uh, I think we've seen enough of what this uh, town, this last uh, this this outpost has to offer, and we're head we'll continue heading west. Um, so we are heading towards. Um, Amchika, Amchika, um, which is a volcanically, volcanically, sorry, a tectonically unstable island in the Rat Islands, uh, which is in the group of the Aleutians southwest of Alaska and is part of the Alaska Maritime National Wildlife Refuge. Um, the island... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Amchiko was a popula populated for more than 250... 2,500 years by the uh, Aleut people, uh, but has no permanent population since 1832. The island's been part of the United States since the Alaska Purchase of 1867. During World War II, it was used as an airfield for U.S. forces in the Aleutian Island Campaign. Uh, Amchika was selected by the United States Atomic Energy Commission to be the site for an underground detonations of nuclear weapons. Three tests were carried out. Long short, an 80 kiloton, blasted in 1965. Milro, a 1 megaton, blasted in 1966. And Kit Kitan Kitanin in 1971, which was a 5 megaton. Uh, the largest underground test ever conducted by the United States. Uh, the tests were highly controversial within our uh, environmental group, so I guess we're going to have a look at the place where the biggest one happened. And hopefully you don't crash into it. Uh, does it give a location? It does, thank you very much. Um, and we'll see if we... Uh, yeah, so this lake here, I do believe, is artificial. It's man-made um, because of the hole that it made. Um, so... Yep, yeah, I do believe. So that there looks like it's the old runway. Uh, completely snowed over or, or whatever. And that, so, okay, cool. So it is this kind of, this skinny, skinny island. And we are, we are here. So we're going to have to continue west, not north. We're going the wrong way, boy. West. And um, we'll just uh, give it a bit of a slew there. 
Ooh, oopsie daisies. Oh no. Hey, when it does this. Up and over. We are gonna be. We're gonna probably miss it. No. Come on, let me get into air. Like, how do you slow mo and bring yourself, like, up? No, okay. You know what? There's fine. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we go, <laughs> go backwards. Uh oh. Seems like my plane doesn't want to go. As I said, th those shrubs, that's highly inaccurate. What the fuck is it doing? Are you gonna... Okay, thank you. Okay. Maybe we can use this as like momentum or something and... And then fly. So, let's go. Brum, 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 brum. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. This plane is like a... <sighs> so light. It just... It just begs for the air. You know, it needs the air. Um, so we are... We're on the right track, baby. Now this is actually how the illusion people used to travel. They used to go into slew mode and and just travel the waves like this. They were very, very navigable people. Um, and they were they were able to, you know, easily easy easily navigate these long stretches of water uh, using just jumping into slew mode. Oh shit, we've gone off the radar. We've gone off the radar. They don't want us to see what's over here. Okay, so this is the island now. And we'll... we'll, we'll uh, we're exit out of... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm still a bit lazy. There we go. Now the island's loading in and we get a good idea of, of, of what we're looking at. Why is it not? Oh, there we go. Right. So, this actually it has it on the map. Cool. Yeah, I do believe that lake was uh, was manned and made. Uh, no, that's, that's the wrong one. Where did, it, where did it come up? Okay. Okay, so Katina. I wonder what that means. It sounds like it might be an actual. Does it say? Uh... Preparation for the tech took over. Test took over five years, involving hundreds of staff from the Lawrence Radiation. Laboratory in the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Drilling the shaft for the Miller test began in 67 March, uh, and drilling for Katana uh, happened in August 76. The test to perform the test, 200 tons of equipment was placed in the shaft. Uh, 
The chairman of the Atomic Commission, James R. Slinger? Slesling? Brought his two daughters and his wife to the test to emphasize the safety of the test. Opposition, both the 1969 calibration test and Catalin itself protect, uh, attracted protest because of a 1964 Alaskan earthquake. Plans raised concerns that the test might trigger earthquakes and cause a tsunami. A demonstration of 7,000 people who block the US Canadian border carrying signs reads, Don't make waves. It's your fault if our fault goes. That's it. Um, in July 71, Anti-Nuclear Committee for Nuclear Responsibility filed a lawsuit against the Atomic Energy Commission asking the court to stop the test. The suit was unsuccessful and the Supreme Court denied the injunction by four votes to three, the test was carried out and did not cause a tsunami as feared. Well, that's nice, you know. At least it didn't cause a tsunami, you know. So the old air fort, the old base should be, you know, it's just right there. So, as you can see, the island's very green in comparison to other places. But once again, it's very, very flat. Very flat and uh, very barren, and you got a perfectly square island there. And all the angles on this island are very so cheating. And there is nothing here, even though, even though on on Google Maps there is a, I guess the well maybe that little dark area there is that clouds or is it like actually dark or what? what's going on? I was honestly expecting more, but um, no one really gives two shits about this part of the world, as you can tell by the fact that they used it as a uh, as a weapons fucking dump. Um, but maybe that little that dark outline there might be a little hint of what was there previously. It's quite rectangular. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that does look like oh. Mm. It's kind of sus, isn't it? It's kind of a bit. Mm hmm. See? What's going on here? Huh? Ask, explain yourself, America. Explain yourself. And this lush is, lush trees are not supposed to not supposed to be there like kite. There's nothing else on the island. Let's see, um what other Fella, ah, oh, cool. Yeah, Project Vela. Oh, so it's linked with Project Vela. Um, yes. So ah, that's why it was used for. So they knew that the test that they were going to do the test, and so that they had a satellite to detect nuclear explosions. And Vela, which is a very, it's a very pretty satellite. That's that's for goddamn sure. Um, this satellite put into space and uh, used to detect um, if there was go if there was any nuclear explosions so that was one of the main reasons why they did it I guess um, to to basically one to have a bit of crack I guess of, you know if you could blow a big hole if you can literally make a lake um, then why not you know 
You know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna land on the old airfield there. Or will I land by the no I'll land I'll land on the old the old runway. Um so you know they, they used it to you know obviously I think they probably would have learned enough about you know underground explosions from what they did in Nevada. Actually that that's where we'll go. We'll go on a full nuclear tour tour. And we'll go to Nevada because there's parts of Nevada which you can just see they're just uh, Swiss Swiss cheese um, in the ground. So we'll take a land here. Um, once again, there shouldn't really be any trees on the island, um, unless maybe the radiation has causes them to grow. There we go. Where's the cl most clearest? I think. Right. Oh. Actually on the ground. Cool. Okay. So come on. Step. Thank you. Um So it was carried on the island for the purpose of seismic test for the detection. Uh, test detection deployment under the Vela uniform. Um, so there was a series of tests designed to see if they can actually check seismic activity um, from space. Um, long shot, Nevada scroll. I think we might as well go to Nevada then, you know? If we're going to follow this, we might as well literally follow it um let's see i mean it might be easier to find landmarks as well because i mean this part of the world is uh is very barren but you got to commend the people living there for being able to live in a uh, in an extremely remote area um I don't want to. I don't want to say anything, but it's more like Polynesians on crack. <laughs> like, uh, okay. Uh, Nevada. Okay. Got cool. Nevada test range. Aha. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about here. So they would have found out plenty of what they need to know about underground testing, um, as well as above ground testing. Um, but a lot of these are underground and above ground. So look at all the oh, there's a nice sedan crater, historical place. So let's let's uh, let's learn about these uh, <laughs> these things. Oh, oh. Hmm. I think we could be on to a nice little, uh, nice little tour. Sugar, sugar bunker. Some of these, uh, some of these names here. I think plenty of S four. Oh, is that is that it as well? Is that is that? So in these, uh, actually, when you bring, yeah, 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 we're in the, we're in the we're in the neck of the woods. Um. It's that, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So that's uh, that's Area Fifty One right there. Um, and so where we're going? So will we go to? Will we fly from Area Fifty One, or do you wanna? I kind of wanna fly from, you know, somewhere here. Uh, Scranton. <laughs> And I say they do some really nice food here. <laughs> some nice diner, diner food. 
free refills on coffee. Right, some, uh, some, uh, what are they called? Those lions in the desert. Um, ooh, sun dunes. Whoa. Why are they so fun? Okay. Like I said, we could we could go there, but then we could also. I'm sure. I'm sure there has to be some small airport or something like that nearby. So we'll just duplicate that because I do want to keep the. Uh, Okay, Area 51. Betty Airport. That sounds... Um, or we'll, do, we'll do this one. Desert Rock Airport. Mercury. Okay. Desert Rock Airport. Alright, see? There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Your Dewey Decimal System has <laughs> Okay. And we'll change the plane as well. So, oh fuck, I didn't get that. FAA. Uh, it's a private airport located. Ooh, and it, uh, we're fucking best friends with the Department of Energy right here. Wait, does it not exist or something? What what the fuck? It might be in the game, I guess. Uh what the fuck? Okay. Uh maybe it goes under that name. Okay, let's just bring up random shit. Um Parachute airstrip. I have a feeling they're not gonna. There's a Betty Airport. See, the problem is, it's gonna get lost in all these fucking mountains, and as 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 like close as it looks, it's not too bad. Betty Airport. We're going Betty Airport. <laughs> what? The I don't want to alarm you with the Here come the spies! <laughs> Art, I don't want to alarm you with the Here come the spies! Wow. Fucking wow, guys. I'm blown away. Blown, blown, blown away. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. That's fucking hilarious, actually. What's here? A few pictures. Ooh. 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 Oh, that's a prototype. Impressive. Okay. Ground Lake. I see the thing is, I'm after the okay Betty Airport, and we want to go this way, but we want to go to see this crater. So let's see Betty Airport. As a Tesla supercharger. My favorite. <laughs> and it's a domestic airport, so we should hopefully. It'll come here. Okay? Yay! There we go. And we'll change. We'll change our aircraft here. What will we do? What will we do? Uh. What's this? Mari Cap 10. Oh, is that a jet? No, I'm not going to be very good at flying him. A G. Like a G6. I mean, I might be able to do this one, but I have a feeling that it'll. 
Is this the one with the... Mm, maybe. Airborne Boeing. Nope. No, no, no. Uh, that's a jet. No, that's the planes I don't like. I don't like any of the ones with Ds, I don't think. Flight design. This one. I think this is like a very... Straight up plane, yeah. This is this is this is like the Jetsons. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, <laughs> let's move to where we are. Okay. Okay. There's really not much landmarks. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to use more than likely um, Google uh, Google Maps to really navigate this uh, this area. There's not much in the way of. Um, facilities at this place, but uh, hey, what can you do? What can you do? I say I have enough room away. Look at this. Look at look at the cute the little inside of this plane. It's very cute. Very basic. Very cute. I do believe it's to my uh, to this side. The other side. <laughs> that is a very cute little plane. It has a little takeoff checklist there. That's cute. Though it beeps. I don't like that. You don't beep at me. Don't beep at me. Do not beep at me. Don't stop beeping. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna get some altitude. Oh, is it like. Is this, is this plane French? Jesus. Betty Airport. Oh, do you say now you show up? Wait, what? Uh, but that's where I was. What? What tomfoolery is going on here? Are the U.S. government trying to hide something? One man. <laughs> One man believes that he can find out. For aliens, perhaps? Um. No, I'm heading. Oh. Oh my god. It's a city. A city that no one knows about. Hmm. And that, that house down there is a mine shaft that it leads to hell. Alright, I'm just gonna pause for a second. Or oh, why would it why would you do that? First print screen and you're gonna bring up fucking wood. It's got baseball, everything here. It's got everything. Um but uh, we want to see where Petty Airport. Okay. Many junction. Stop it. Ah, okay, so Betty has two airports, I guess. I don't know. Forget. Well to do. Alright, so if we just continue heading north, east, or whatever, we'll get to those craters. Unless we hit some kind of, like, uh, I don't know, something. 
If we had somewhere here, this is where they did all the things. Come on, don't be it. You know what? As much as it is nice to like, oops, uh, to try new things. God, no, stop it. As much as it is nice, I think just stick it to what you know. It's, it's also good. I don't know where's my mouse. There it is. Okay, there we go. Now he's gonna be nice and and, and easy and. It's not gonna knock me around. Uh, let's see what we got. We got live, live weather. Ooh, yeah, I like this. 6 a.m. early morning. This is Janet Airlines right here. Um, Bald Mountain. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We. So where those are? are uh, are you going to show? Oh, there we are. So that there, I do believe, might be it. Uh, and all the little craters we nestled, nestled in there. Uh, yeah. Heading northeast. Flipping over these mountains. I don't know you tell me. He's really, he's really twitchy. Like someone, someone else has a. This is just, whoop. I thought I was offline for a second or whatever. I guess not. It's just like miles away from everyone from where I was. Uh, that dude must say. Uh, Somewhere there. I think we're we, we should be. How northwest of it is it? Oh Jesus! No, Jesus! It's spinning out of control. If I'm gonna die. They're using harp to affect my plane. No. It's somewhere where that L thing is. See some Swiss, Swiss, Swiss cheese. Apple Woodhouse. Apple House. Apple to Woodhouse. It's a historic landmark. This historic estate. Uh, cool. Nevada's National Security Site. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we'll just start seeing any kind of bumps and lumps. I don't know if they're that's supposed to be them, but I don't think so. Once again, I keep turning. Nope. Give me some height. 
give me some altitude, and then, so it's all nestled in there somewhere. Stop, like, diving down, would you? Stop diving down. Oh cool, someone's already, <laughs> someone's already, actually is this in, someone in real life? No, FS simulator, someone's did, and he's actually in the same plane as I, that's pretty, that's pretty interesting. To develop the technology and safety requirements for the immense excavation project toward which Plowshare is building. This was Project Sedan. Surface. Jesus Christ. The 100 kiloton nuclear explosion excavated more than 6 million cubic yards of Earth in a matter of seconds. The result was a crater more than 1,200 feet in diameter, the length of four football fields, and 325 feet deep, the height of a 32-story building, created in less time than it takes to describe it. To clear a volume of rock the size of the Sedan crater with conventional methods would require more than 2,000 tons of chemical explosives and 25 pieces of heavy earth-moving machinery over a period of at least six months. Estimates like this have prompted experts to consider using nuclear explosives to do these immense tasks never before economically feasible. and power. Nuclear excavation is, however, the most straightforward application and the nearest to practical using. Oh my god. The chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission has recently established Fucking within the Plowshare program a research goal to determine the feasibility of nuclear excavation within approximately the next five years. I just Project want to get some height. was the first step in implementation of this program. The basic objective of Sedan <laughs> was to determine the cratering effects okay, of so a deeply buried high-yield nuclear explosion. Previous experience with one kiloton and smaller explosives has shown that as a nuclear explosion is buried deeper and deeper, crater size steadily increases until a depth of burst is reached for which crater dimensions are maximum. Below this depth, crater size decreases. Also, as the explosion is buried deeper and deeper, the fraction of the radioactivity released to the atmosphere becomes less and less. Thus, it is possible to choose a depth of burst that will give almost maximum crater size 
with the release of only a few percent of the radioactivity. Using these concepts, the depth of burst chosen for Sedan was 635 feet. Ooh. The predicted crater diameter ranged from 1,200 to 1,500 Airports. feet. And the depth okay, so from 180 parachute. to 300 oh, sorry. Parachute. Feet. The release of Betty. radioactivity was expected to be less than 4%. The explosive used for Sedan was a 100 Fuck. kiloton thermonuclear device in which less than 30% of the total energy came from fission. Since only a few percent of this fission fraction escaped to the atmosphere, less than two kilotons of radioactivity was released by Sedan. Oh, okay, so we're the site of on Sedan the right track? Was the atomic Maybe energy born this way? Nevada test site located in southern Nevada, 70 miles northwest of Las Vegas. The specific location chosen for Sedan was at the north end of Yucca Valley, near the site of two earlier nuclear cratering detonations and much high explosive cratering work. Okay, I think it's over here. Sedan was detonated at 10 a.m. July 6th, 1962. This what? is a view taken from the top <laughs> what of a tower located six miles from yeah. ground zero. So I think we keep going this way. At about one uh, third should be speed. somewhere here. In this valley. Here. Like, to the north. The base surge seen forming here continued to grow until it covered an area about five miles in diameter. Ooh, the main I think we're, we're definitely getting somewhere. height of 12,000 feet above the desert floor. Aha, uh -huh. look. Look at them. Is that the D1 or A1? It's definitely, these are definitely in the right area. That's for fucking sure, so. Just have a little. This close up view was taken from a ground station three miles from ground zero. I think that's it. Uh, the dome rose to a height of 290 feet before it vented at three seconds. I mean, they had a little bit of crack in the desert, you know what I mean? They're like having a bit of fun with this. Yeah, so, so Dan. A better picture of the mass of material yeah, that's moved by the explosion. Look at that. The early Jesus. Of cloud formation. A very large fraction of the radioactivity that escaped from Sedan was mixed with the fallback in the crater area. Thus, the cloud carried only a small fraction of the radioactivity. The area covered by the base surge is clearly discernible in this aerial view by the pattern of light-colored dust. The crater is about 1,200 feet in diameter and 320 feet deep. The lip Jesus. ranges in height from 20 to 100 feet. The predictions and the results compare favorably. The fallout pattern from Sedan extended almost due north from the crater area. Shown here are the 5 tenth Rankton and 3.9 Rankton isodose lines. These correspond to the total dose the person would receive assuming continuous residence. The highest dose received by any off-site resident was two tenths Rankin. These isodose lines represent the dose one would receive assuming entry into the area one week after the shot and continuous residence thereafter. Research is being done on nuclear explosives with so little radioactivity that excavation projects will be possible with no off-site radiation problem. Large-scale excavation projects, such as harbors and canals, require the use of explosives in the range from 100 kiloton to over a megaton. 
Sudan has been a major step forward in the nuclear excavation program by extending our cratering experience into this high yield range. B and uh. mining explosives of only a few. Sedan was detonated at ten AM, July sixth, nineteen sixty two. This is a view taken from the top of a 1500 foot tower located six miles from ground. They didn't just test weapons here in Nevada. Scientists were also interested in whether nuclear devices could be used for more peaceful purposes. Uh, excavating large amounts of earth if you're building a harbor or a canal, for example. In a test in 1962, they created the biggest man-made crater in the United States. This is Sedan, the result of 12 million tons of earth being thrown up into the air by a nuclear blast. This thing is so big, you can actually see it from space. Oh. <laughs> Energy of a nuclear explosion, dramatic though it seems, is of course only a small fraction of that released by a major quake, perhaps a thousandth of the energy. But nevertheless, like applying a sudden shock to a locked brake, it might be sufficient to break the friction on just one part of the fault and therefore trigger the movement along the whole of the fault at a convenient time. The results of a nuclear explosion and the collapse and creation of a crater are rather dramatic and faults have also been found associated with explosions. Using explosions to trigger quakes is, of course, playing with fire, but there are not very many possibilities for a city like San Francisco. Now, the Nevada test site is not a part of Area 51. In fact, it's run by the Department of Energy, while the rest of the Nellis Range is operated by the United States Air Force, as most of you probably know. Now, will you find secret underground entrances here at the Nevada test site? Well, no. You will find underground entrances. They have lots of underground facilities here. They're just not that secret. In fact, you can read all about them on their website. The U1A complex is an underground laboratory consisting of horizontal tunnels, each about one half mile in length, where experiments supporting the nation's nuclear stockpile are conducted. The tunnels are approximately 960 feet below ground level. Uh, 
I believe this shadow right here is the equipment they use to lower personnel and equipment down into the tunnels. significance of this operation was recognized throughout our military establishment. Key representatives from oh. all the services and other interested agencies were invited to observe this historic event, a critical first for the Army. Uh. Picture a car at the end of that road. Now, would you like to see the big boom that made this hole? Mm-hmm. Sedan was detonated at 10 a.m. July 6, 1962. This is a view taken from the top of a 1,500-foot tower, located six miles from ground zero. Cool. This close-up. Right, so... <coughs> We get flying again, shall we? We shall. Mm. Yeah, I think that's more appropriate considering. Gonna use the crater. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come on. Forty nuts. Uh. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> That's not my- the fucking ground, they fucked it up. They have like a fucking cliff. What's going on here? Fucking tremors. Uh, uh, we jump on that. These are, these are my two f favorite airplanes. Oh god, and we're gonna party. Okay. On to- On to Area 51, shall we? Kind of north something. Actually, I think that's probably it there. Yeah, that's that's it. We'll just drive to it. <laughs> uh, I'm not a big fan of mountains. They kind of get in the way. Yeah, I don't know why that's not default. Thank you. Killed away a bit. Killed away a bit. Oh 
I need the, uh... <laughs> ground contact. We're looking for a touch and go. Yeah, actually, let's, uh... Let's give them a little, uh, nearest runways. Homie, I do believe that's, that's it there, isn't it? Wait, wait, sorry, was there a place called Jackass? Sorry. There is a place called Jackass. <laughs> Uh, tune to it. Select runway. We're gonna have a little bit of a titch and go. Which which side is runway fifteen? Because it's a big fucking runway, that's for sure. Uh, I see fourteen and I see runway thirty-two. So that's my position. Yeah, 15, but on the oak it says 14. Hmm. Illuminati confirmed. <gasps> oh, we'll go and meet the Doomsday planes then after, shall we? Everyone's going on about the Doomsday planes, and they don't know what they are. Jesus, a fucking big desert all the same, isn't it? Look at all the... Look, actually, we should have probably seen more of the holes. Yeah, we're just going to quickly... Oh, backtrack, backtrack. Look at all that. Look at that. That's fucking... The moon. That is. Look at this. Look, we have no doubt that for the next... Fucking couple thousand years... They're going to... They're going to know who the fuck we were, you know? They're going... Yeah. <laughs> we're just giving... We're just throwing curveballs to future fucking archaeologists, you know. This must have been a religious, uh, a, a religious uh, place for religion, <laughs> you know. And then, and then someone's gonna be all like, "Oh, it's ancient astronauts. They use nukes." And they'll be like, "No, no, no, no. You're silly. Don't be silly. Don't be, don't be so silly." Um, is that the lake there? That's the lake. Look at it. Give me that alien pussy. Where's the alien pussy? It's only fair if you're gonna probe my ass, I got to probe yours. And who's next? Yo, Bob Lazar is at the door. It's me, guys. I what? <laughs> I mo. <laughs> Look at all that. What are they trying to hide? Hmm, I'm gonna have to look up uh Oh we can go and visit the uh what you call it the 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 letterbox is like over there. That that famous black letterbox on the interstellar highway. Yeah, so this is uh you can see the size of the lake and the uh, these here, it's just, a, it's just a flight calibration fucking place, you know. Now, uh, where's the other place? There's another place, um, well, it begins with L, I can't remember it. It's also where they, uh, test shit. But you can see, look, they, you know, for, uh, it was, it was just fucking spy planes, like, 
you know? This one, there's an alien down there. Actually, is kind of accurate what they have on the on the Google Google Maps for uh, for the planes. So this here, this here is what's called all the fuss. Those little lads of the planes there. Something nice and cool. You know, I'm gonna. I, I like. I like the noise of uh, the conspiracies and everything like that. So, uh, or not? Just you know, Area 51. Very overrun with a lot of stuff. During a TV interview, and the story still reverberates today. The I team's George Knapp played a part in what became an international sensation. He's here with an update. On setting the stage, Dave, you might not know this, but 25 years ago, a young anchor woman named Paula Francis and I were prepping for the 5 o'clock news when we learned that our scheduled live interview had canceled. We placed a call to aviator John Lear to ask if he could get a friend oh, to fill the yes. spot. Yes, actually, let's see if we can hear some. Out near Area 51. John Lear is a madman. Uh, it sounded outrageous. Like the right kind. That interview with Bob Lazar turned. Uh, John Lear, 1988, 87. Western Airlines pilot captain. Uh, you hold, have held uh, 17 different world speed records at one time or another. You're a member of the famous Lear family that all Nevadans are pretty much familiar with, a former state senate candidate. You don't sound like the kind of guy who would get hooked up in something that a lot of people would say is a bunch of nonsense. No, it's just uh, by coincidence that I got really interested this is about two years ago my father saw a ufo and my brother did and they were very interested but there was really no proof uh, as far as i was concerned to really uh, look into it about until about two years ago your father and, uh, and brother saw them in the uh, my my brother saw one in flying the era x-ray from, uh, the era is on final run so you want five left touch you go left traffic of he made two uh turns, I just, this is the wrong place in front of him and then disappeared so you started, you got an interest because of the other members of your family. How did you start out? I had an interest, but there was really nothing I could put my finger on. Like I say, two years ago, a friend of mine came through town. We had flown in the Southeast Asia together. He was retiring from the Air Force. Uh, he came over and uh, we started talking about where he had been for the last 15 years. And he mentioned that he had been stationed at uh, Bentwater. And I said, oh, Bentwaters, that's where the uh, uh, flying saucer supposedly was in 1980. He said, no, John, not supposedly, it was. He said, I don't care if you believe me or not, it landed. I didn't see it because we were confined to quarters. And I know people who did, and I'll give you the names. And if you ever see them, tell them you know me, and they'll tell you the whole story. Since then, I ran into one of the security police who was within 10 feet of the saucer and actually saw the three aliens get out and uh, go up to General Gordon Williams, who was the... Uh, Wing commander at that time. Now there was quite a bit of, um, of documentation regarding this Ben Water incident. Why don't you go into that a little bit? There's the uh, kind of hot memo that they came out under the Freedom of Information Act, and it told about the mysterious lights and beating down. Uh, we'll have a little. Except the actual. Oh, that wasn't in the memo. 
Then there was also the, uh, we'll, try, we'll try one of the more, I guess, complicated ones, uh, the X-ray, yeah. Uh, uh, or stump plane, I'm not very good at them, so please forgive. Why do you suppose that hasn't come out? I mean, this particular incident, why hasn't come out if so many people, and you've told me about this before, have seen it or have seen these aliens? Why haven't some of them come forward? A lot of them have come forward, but they're just not getting any press. It's something that uh, people just don't want to deal with, the press doesn't want to deal with. And, uh, people aren't gonna oh, oh, no! Uh, and I'm dead! No! Uh, Dan Rather <laughs> or uh, any of your big uh, press Rest people are going to tell them about it. And they're just too spooked. The Air Force has made a, an art form of uh, ridiculing people who have talked about this thing. They've done an excellent job of covering it up for the last 40 years. George, basically what we're dealing with here is, I'll give you the bottom line. Okay, I'm not trying to sell it. I want to hear your thesis. I'm you're not trying to sell a book, I'm not trying to promote a lecture. This is based on what I've come across as the intense research in the last year. And I have found out that the government has retrieved between 10 and 15 actual flying saucers, three of which are in perfect condition, one of which they tried to fly. They have between 30 and 50 alien bodies uh, in cryogenic storage. Uh, we even have the name of the uh, person whose job it is to show these bodies uh, to uh, the heads of state and the people are, who are authorized to see them. They represent at least five different civilizations. But this plane's a lot easier to, rather, or, uh, Tom Brokaw, to fly. What's this plane again? Well, uh, oh, no. I, can't, I can't answer that question. I don't, I don't know why they don't do it. There certainly is enough evidence based on what I've, I've looked at. For instance, the uh, Linda Moulton House. Oh, yeah, I like this one. This, 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 this one's a nice plan. Uh, since 1975 to 1980, when she made the documentary, there's at least 9,000 camera mutilations. Now, the government said that uh, the mutilations were abnormal, that it, the, the, the desert predator did these. But they weren't. The mutilations, they... Uh, <laughs> they we have a picture of these somewhere. We may wouldn't see that as you're talking. Uh, uh, well, that's... the next picture. Here we are. This is the mutilation the United States State Police did the uh, research on, or the uh, investigation on it. And they cut out certain parts uh, with a... Uh, and, and the cut was made with a laser beam far sharper than anything we have. As a matter of fact, they were able to determine that they cut between the cells. They didn't cut the cells so We presently don't have this kind of technology. Well, if uh, we don't know that we have this kind of technology, or you and I don't know that we don't, that doesn't mm. prove necessarily mm. it's a uh, ET. No, except that uh, there's usually a, a uh, visual sighting of a flying saucer or a light, a strange light, at each one of these uh, sightings. Okay, you mentioned the saucers and the bodies. Now, what, what kind of proof do you have that, that that is true? How do you know that? Well, let me take a look. Let me read uh, to you first uh, what the Air Force says about the uh, about the bodies. Uh, first of all, I'm going to read from the Introductory Space Science Volume 2, Department of Physics, United States Air Force. This is Chapter 13, Unidentified Flying Objects. Now, this is what the Air Force has the students at the Air Force Academy read. And it says, the most commonly described alien is about three and a half feet tall, has a round head, arms reaching to or below his knees, and is wearing a silvery spacesuit or coveralls. Other aliens appear to be essentially the same as Earthmen, while still others uh, have particularly wide wrap-around eyes uh, and mouths with very thin lips. And there is a rare group reported to be about four feet tall, weighted around 35 pounds, and covered with thick hair for clothing. Members of this last group are described as being extremely strong. Now, I'm not making this up. This is an Air Force. You can pick out an Air Force. <laughs> I'm not making it up. Then <laughs> the Air Force is. <laughs> chapter, I go on to say, this leads us to believe uh, in the unpleasant possibility of alien visitors to our planet, or at least of alien-controlled UFOs. Now, the picture that we have uh, of the uh, of the big head that the Air Force describes, um, this picture was drawn by an Army surgeon. These are one of the bodies that was recovered in the famous Roswell incident of 1947. Tell us about that. It was the first flying saucer that crashed uh, and was recovered by uh, the Army. It was uh, covered up. Uh, there has been several books about it. They recovered four beams. And uh, one of the uh, surgeons that was responsible for the autopsy drew that picture and, uh, 
and they came up with some of these uh, um, interesting things in the autopsy. I'll just read a couple. Uh, uh, three and a half to four and a half feet tall, two round eyes without pupils, no earlobes, nose is vague, uh, neck described as being thin, um, arms is described long and thin, reaching down to the knee section. You can see that there's a web portion in the hands. No teeth, no apparent re reproductive organs. Um, brain is a capacity unknown. Colorless liquid prevalent in the body without red cells, no lymphocytes. And there's more in that uh, particular report. This is an autopsy report. Now, you said the government uh, goes to great lengths, the Air Force in particular, to discredit this kind of stuff. Where did this come from? <laughs> uh, that, came, uh, in the, uh, private, uh, that came from the private collection of Leonard Stringfield, who was one of the premier researchers. He worked for the Air Force uh, in the early 50s um, uh, in a secret project reporting UFOs. Then as a civilian, he continued his uh, private research, and this is out of his collection. Why does the government want to hide this? Why doesn't the Air Force just come forward? Why doesn't uh, you know? Why don't they level with us if this is all true? Well, there's not really much they can say based on what I've been able to find out, uh, George. They're really you know what what could they say about it? They've been researching it for uh, many many years, and based on my information, um, let's say that the president decided to make an announcement. This is if he made it today. This is what I think that uh, he would say. My fellow Americans, I come to you uh, before you tonight with an announcement of great importance. Despite all our denials, flying saucers do in fact exist. Where they come from, we do not know. Who is in them, we do not know. Where they are from, we do not know. Nor do we know how they got here or what they want. We are unable, unable to duplicate any of the metals found on the several craft we have recovered, nor are we able to figure out how they are propelled. We have hidden these facts from you over the past 40 years in hopes that we give you could give you more uh, answers. Unfortunately, we are no closer to answers today than we were 40 years ago. God bless you all. In other words, you find it highly unlikely that the president would ever make a statement anything like that. No, it's, it's, you know, it's too big. It's a massive the problem is not only just the fact that there are five, uh, five and as many as ten different civilizations visiting us. Apparently, and this is from the research that I've done, at least 90% of them are hostile. And when I say hostile, uh, if not hostile, they have a completely different set of morals. Than okay, I'll tell you what, we're going to come back to the president and aliens, because there have been some statements made by presidents, including mm -hmm. President Reagan. We'll be right back. What's bark? What's bark? What? What spark? Welcome back. UFOs, are they real? We're talking with are they? Lear on the subject. Mr. Lear uh, mentioned a couple Doomsday of plane. Doomsday plane. Where's my doomsday plane? Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 They got logos and shit on the fucking. What the? People that control this information is a organization. Dope. MJ12. MJ12. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, majestic. And I do know that when the president becomes president, it takes at least three or four months before he is. Wow. Gets the clearance to know everything there is. Cool. And that doesn't mean they tell him, but it does take three or four months to get. Now, talking to the president. Uh, Doomsday uh, planes. Actually said, has he mentioned anything about aliens? Yes. President Reagan. President Reagan on December 4th, 1985. This is a copy of the speech from the White House, just before he uh, went over to Iceland. He says, I "Doomsday uh, planes." Discussions privately with Secretary General Gorbachev. When you stop to think that we're all God's children, wherever we may live in this world, I couldn't help but say to him. Just think how easy his task and mine might be in these meetings that we If held. there was aliens. Suddenly there was a threat to this world so from some other species, from another planet Come on, outside man. in the universe. We Doomsday planes. We have our Doomsday planes. The Doomsday planes. Now, 
couldn't be just uh, making a supposition for purpose of making a point? Yes. You're saying he's trying to tell us something. Well, here, one week ago at the 42nd General Assembly at the, in front of the UN. Doomsday plane. He says, in our obsession with the antagonism of the moment, we often forget how much unites all... Doomsday plane. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bond. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat. Doomsday planes. Yet I ask you, there's not an alien force not already among us? Now, this is right out of a White House speech. I'm not making this up. Yes. What does he mean by this alien force? I mean, does it say? Does he yeah. It's our own fucking says, uh, willingness uh, to kill each other. That's what he's fucking talking about. Could you stick with the war. stick with the planes, please, yeah. Mr. Lear? Like the point is, why would he even stick with the planes. Listen. What do you mean by the world the quote. would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world? And yet I ask you, is not an alien force not already among us? Now, this is right out Threat. They're not making it up. Doomsday plane. Doomsday. He says, uh, uh. Um, "What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our people than war and the threat of war?" Yes. The point is, why would he even bring up aliens? Because the, the point of the speech is to dub for movies. <laughs> You've answered your question there, Mr. Lear. Jimmy Carter. Doomsday planes. If I become president, I'll make every piece of information this country has about UFO sightings available to the public and the scientists. I am convinced that UFOs exist because I have seen one. Jimmy Carter says he saw one. That's Jimmy Carter. So Jimmy Carter is smarter. The pressure is enormous on these people to cover this stuff up. Okay, let's go to. Uh, Let's finish this off with a little bit of uh, city flying. Uh, Guardia Airport. No, give me the fucking. Something had to happen to get us going. Between 4,000 and 8,000 BC, there we go. Been going along Ooh. Doomsday! All the things! Pottery invented the wheel, invented fire, and everything took off. What was the key to do that? Sudden kiss in the morning. You mentioned a tender days in the evening. Nope. What makes you think that? Because it can sell a book. I'm just playing games. I know. Time for the plastic to beat. Another morning comes. I guess my rhyme is going to be like burning. Okay, Mr. Mr. Lear. Thank you very much, Mr. Lear. Ooh. Come on, let's go. Fly. Fly. What the feck? What is this? I don't understand. Rikers Island. Rikers Island. Huh? Rikers Island. No Jersey. Rikers Island, huh? Rikers Island. Huh? Rikers Island. LaGuardia Airport LaGuardia LaGuardia Um Just fucking doing 9-11 job, hey Um uh.
this is gonna complicate things if I change, but... Uh, yeah. Dance to the plastic bee and nor the morning comes. I'm just playing games. I know this plastic love. Dance to the plastic beat. Another morning comes. Should I see what the weather is like? Is this live? Live weather. There we go. Rikers Island. Indubitably. Do 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 Now I'm in the back of the um Hey, I'm going down Fifth Avenue. <laughs> going down Fifth Avenue. Tom waits on Fifth Avenue. Dance to the plastic bee. Ba -boo -da -doo -da -doo. I'm just playing games. Nine eleven job. Look, it's the Chrysler building. This is just like Spider-Man 2, the video game. The Empire State of Mind. Where's the UN? Mr. Rockefeller, I object. Look at them. Look at them. Those bureaucrats. Ugh. Duh, duh. Uh, get him. One more peace treaty and I'll get him. I swear is it. The Empire State Building. Huh? Who would have thought it? Nine eleven? Huh? Is down there? Get a bacon and I put him in a pancake. Bake a pa a Shit. Um. It appears we have some technical difficulties. Um. Bear with me. Well, we'll take off on this street. This very bumpy street. Hey, fix the potholes, huh? Blasio, you doofus. Look at all these potholes. <laughs> How am I supposed to fly my plane down these places? Ah, oh, no! <laughs> what the fuck? Bellasio, fucking fix these potholes, eh? Uh, 
How do you go up? Like, why do they not let me go up? Go! Fly! Fly! Uh-oh. I have a feeling... Oh, it's the Brooklyn Bridge! <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna be... It's gonna have a thing, isn't it? There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get under this. It's gonna be a wall. Oh my god! Oh, man! Did they fix that and allow you to fly under the bridges? Especially the Brooklyn... Oh no, sorry, this is the, uh... Another bridge. Oh shit, they did! Wow! Way to go, guys. No invisible wall. Nice. Nice! There we are. New York, New York. The city so good. They named it. We're in 911ville. Uh, it's the projects. This is where Nas Nas. This is where he's. I actually I don't know. Queens. Um. New, New Jersey. But we're gonna try and do that Fifth Avenue run, okay? We're gonna try and run around Fifth Avenue. It's a, we got a little turbulence here now, actually. That's you know, uh, live weather is great and stuff, but let's let's try and smooth things up here a bit. Nice crisp November air. You know. I don't know which one's Fifth Avenue, really, to be honest with you. I know, I, I, dude, I'm just amazed that you know, the city, the city's still there. The city sleeping like a soldier step instead of a nut. Oh, it's that building from the Spider-Man movie. Was Spider-Man? Seen Spider-Man or the, the, that building? So I do believe this, this, one of these, this here one might be Fifth Avenue. Here we go. Yeah, when I fly this plane through all the buildings, they're gonna call me an American hero. Ah. So I hope, hope you enjoyed oh, uh, flying today. Uh, we went to, had fun at Harp. Uh, went to the real Harp and nothing was there, obviously. <laughs> Thanks, Microsoft. Oh, Jesus. Um, we went to the Aleutians. Um, we saw the test site. Uh, we had some fun up, up there. Uh, we then went to Nevada. Uh, saw the craters. Um, uh, then we went to Area 51. Had some fun there at Area 51. Uh, listened to a little bit of... Uh, I'm not going to say charlatan, but let's just say charlatan. Like, come on. Your dad literally makes fucking air experimental aircraft. And he's like, oh, I saw a UFO. Of course he did. You fucking saw your own fucking... You fucking went to the office. You know? Uh, then we went to Offuk. We went to see the Doomsday Planes. That was a bit of an impromptu little stopover, but you know, uh, which is uh, a lot of people get mixed up with the the planes. So the E, the E four, or is it the B four? Um, that's called I don't know. But well, basically, everyone when they were like, oh. Well, the pre yeah, the president's sick, and the doomsday planes are up, and there were six doomsday planes. They weren't. There were six uh, E6s, uh, and they're just, they're, it, that's Project Looking Glass, not the, the doomsday plane, though they're integrated together uh, for it. Um, uh, but yeah, no, they're not the doomsday. Oh, 2014, Yang, I mean, 2014. Um... We we then 
went to uh, we went to New York then. So we, we had a we had a bit of a fun trekking around uh, the United States. Uh, mostly, I guess I guess would you, actually I was going to say continental United States, but I don't think don't think the Aleutians are technically affecting on the continent really, <sighs> though they're in America. Um, so uh, and then and we're gonna finish it off with the most uh, America American of place. I mean, we could jump down to Washington, which I think would be apt. But if I remember, Washington's a bit strange. <laughs> like the White House, it looks weird. Um, we listened to information about the the largest crater that had ever happened on. On American soil, uh, I'd imagine the larger, largest crater would have been that Tsar Bomba. Um, and uh, you know, New York's always nice just to have a little fly around, you know. Yeah, it's a shame it won't be here for long, huh? Given all the the global warming, riots, election, virus, you know, actually, it's a, you know, fair fucks to New York, like, you know, it would probably take a, a long time for it to actually, you know, disintegrate or whatever. Like even a nuke or something, I would say there'd be places that'll be still fine, you know. So, uh, so yeah. It is a very pretty time to do. There's New Jersey over there. That's where, uh, Beetlejuice, Lester Green, uh, uh actor, comedian, boxer, Radio personality and all around just, just great dude. That's where he lives, or that's where he's from. I don't know if he still lives there. I think he lives. He might live. He might live somewhere differently. But um, the Statue of Liberty, famous, famous landmark. Or oh, oh, okay, okay. Before we end, I will actually go to Washington. I just want to see if they have. Uh, sorry, Washington D.C. I mean. Actually, it's one of these things I probably could find by fucking maps. Stop giving me Apple Maps, you slut! You slut! Come on, keep, keep like, autopilot. I don't know, I don't want to go with this. I don't want to go on their fucking website, Jesus! Um, uh, is this. Is that it? Or am I in the wrong place? But the flag was still there And the flag was still there The flag was still there I left it in. <laughs> this would be so inappropriate to crash into it. There, there. And the flag was still there. The flag was still. <laughs> no, I can't put on a wash list. And the flag, it was still there. And the flag was still there. Oh, say, was the flag still there? That the flag was still there. The flag was still there. 
this one is the other one, I guess. I don't know. Sorry, apologies for the... I want to go to a certain place. Uh, I just need to find it. <laughs> ah, okay, so it is actually... Reagan National Airport. We're gonna have a little look around DC. This is a, yeah, I mean, in fairness, I mean, if we are gonna celebrate America's post wartime accomplishment, we might as well celebrate all aspects. Am I still in slow mode? Oh, okay, that's that's why because okay, cool. Wow. Okay, we're going that way, over that way. I do believe south. Dive, 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 dive. Oh, look, it's right. <laughs> it's another ruckus island. <laughs> Look, Rooker's Island. Wait, actually, sorry, wait, hope, wait, what? Wait, wait, am I smoking, am I, oh, you know what it is? I don't think I copied it right. I was, I, I, I still had LaGuardia fucking imported. <laughs> there has to be more Rooker's Islands. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, look. Come on now. I can just type it in, okay? K. D. C. A. Go. And we'll keep heading west. Come on, come on, game. Hurry up, load in, load in the entire east, co west coast, east coast of America. Come on, man. Why does it take so long? Why is it taking so long, guy? This is where the fun begins. Okay, so that's uh, Ronald Reagan. And we need to... Okay. Yes. Um, I'd be over there somewhere. Uh, we'll see if the if the the AI's got a good uh, a good grasp on it. So this t this area here is Alexandria, um, and over there is the Pentagon, and then there's the, the White House and the Mall. That's the uh, the Lincoln, or sorry, the the Washington Monument, which is apparently a load of whoa. That's a fucking that's a building. So that's a that's a that's an easy enough landmark to fucking find. Though I can't uh, find it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Washington DC <laughs> not a more wretched place <laughs> you will find uh, so Mount Vernon where George Washington I do believe he, um, Mount Vernon is over there somewhere um, but we're not looking for Mount Vernon. Oh, Jesus, I'm after losing it now, haven't I? Fuck. Ah, oh, bollocks. Uh... Where, 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 come on. You'll be over here somewhere, won't you? Where are you? Washington DC You know what I mean Ah Is that it? When you come here I think that's it there. I think I think that's it there. Um, so there's a well, yeah, that is definitely it. So it's the uh, George Washington Masonic Memorial, and they don't have it right because it has. It, it looks. Uh, I don't know. It looks like the place uh, at the end of uh, Ghostbusters. See, it's like the end of Ghostbusters. Um. I mean, they got, you know, the bottom half of it, and, oh, there's, that. Uh, uh, do 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 <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> the G. G. We'll give it a word. Uh, See, we would have, we would have hit a temple there, but, it would, you know, it's not. Um. We'll give it, we'll land, we'll land on their garden, shall we? Fucking order into chaos instead of the other way around, you know? Oh! Whoa! I think maybe Stalin or Stalin are on the green. There we go, 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 there we go! Yay. Hooray. All right. Good luck. 